do I move on from all the stuff I've been through? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're examining 10 kids' shows that dealt with mental illness. Okay, let's examine that. Review my trauma narrative. So you know the drill. For this list, we'll be looking at animated and live-action children's television series that tackled mental health and illness, helping the audience through difficulties. Which show helped you with troubles when you were younger? Let us know below. Hey Arnold. The animated TV show created by Craig Bartlett has covered a range of mental health issues throughout its run. Mommy, Daddy, Mommy, Daddy, Mommy, Daddy. There's Arnold coping with the trauma of losing his parents and Chocolate Boy's chocolate obsession. How about some chocolate, Chocolate Boy? Chocolate! You're not going to break him down, Wolfgang. He's a changed kid. Here you go, chocolate boy. But Helga Pataki probably highlights this the most. Not only does she have to cope with unrequited love, but also her family has several issues that impact her. For starters, her mum, Miriam, is alluded to be an alcoholic from her swaying and smoothie passion. Helga's sister Olga is seen as a perfect person. The pressure gets to her when she falsely gets a bad grade and spirals into depression. I can't believe it! It's not that bad, darling. Yes, it is. It's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> How their parents take care of Helga, or rather, the lack thereof, has contributed to Helga's tendencies to lash out, whether that be physically or emotionally. We even see Helga face her various issues when she sees a therapist. You said that no one at home notices that you exist. And? Well, I think that's very sad, Helga. Everyone needs to be noticed. Otherwise, life would be terribly lonely. You got that right. Your mom doesn't notice you? My mom? <laughs> Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure After the events of the 2010 film Tangled, this show picks up the world of Rapunzel six months later. While we were led to believe that everything would be fine now that she's with her birth parents, it's far from that. Hey, Blondie, you want... Ah! Rapunzel! <laughs> Rapunzel is constantly dealing with the trauma she sustained as a prisoner in the tower. After all, she has nightmares involving Gothel. Did you think I was gone forever? We even see the conflict within Rapunzel when she watches the tower fall. On the one hand, the symbol of her torment is destroyed. On the other hand, her old home is gone. The show doesn't rush Rapunzel or gloss over her experience. Instead, it supports her with friends and family while she works through it herself. Are you okay? <laughs> Adventure Time Created by Pendleton Ward, Adventure Time hasn't shied away from some big topics, and one of the most moving stories involves the Ice King and memory deterioration, such as conditions like dementia or Alzheimer's, as well as grief. Remember, I explained this to you? In the episode Holly Jolly Secrets, we see videos created by Ice King that go back before he put on the crown, when he was the antiquarian Simon Petrikov. They tell me the secrets, the secrets of the ice and snow, that the power of the crown will save me with its frost. Then, in I Remember You, he tries to enlist Marceline to write a song. That's where we discover she knew him when he was Simon. However, Ice King has no memory of her in the past. The crown's influence erased them, and Marceline has to let the memory of Simon go. I can feel myself slipping away. I can't remember what it made me say. Young Justice. Therapy is a vital tool for helping with mental health issues, and even heroes need it, as shown in Young Justice. With all the grim experiences they've suffered, the team has been able to talk to Black Canary about their problems. When Robin struggled to live up to his own perceptions of Batman's expectations, he spoke to Dinah Lance. You can't tell Batman. Nothing leaves this room. When the team lost Connor Kent, they grappled with their grief. But Beast Boy took it really hard. He lashed out at his parents and isolated himself. Gar eventually attended sessions with Black Canary. While he initially pretended everything was fine, he eventually opened up about his depression and survivor's guilt. I could have done something! What? What could you have done differently to save any of them? I don't know. 
I just need it to be better. Later, Gar talks about using antidepressants and being in a better place. No pills? Well, you know, except for my prescribed antidepressants. That's great, Gar! Arthur. For a series that's only behind The Simpsons as the longest-running animated show in America, Arthur has touched on a range of stories that have left a mark on the audience. Hurricanes are unpredictable. But look at the rest of the street! Not a single other shop was damaged! What are the chances of that happening? For example, in the episode Shelter from the Storm, Alan the Brain Powers is frightened after seeing the destruction left behind by Hurricane Sadie at the ice cream shop, even though the family prepared for it. Brain is riddled with anxiety and has visions about the weather. Alan, are you okay? I have to put something against the window! Why? That tree outside! It could fall into this room any minute! With the support of his family, especially his dad, and talking to a therapist, Brain starts to cope with his feelings. But we're gonna work on this together, okay? There's also Grandpa Dave's memory album, when the failing memory of Grandpa Dave and its effects on the family are brought to the forefront. Grandpa will need some extra care from all of us. I'll take care of you, Grandpa! Teen Titans Oh, man! I told you we shouldn't have gone in a room. The first iteration of the Teen Titans show left a lasting impression on the audience. On top of the typical fighting scene in superhero shows, it also tackled heavier topics, so much so that fans have theorized that different characters represent different mental illnesses. But one character that we saw on the screen that showcased the state of her mental health the most was Raven. Raven? How did... where... what just... Why are you wearing pink? Because <laughs> it's my favorite color? It is? She had the pressure of being a part of the heroes and the expectation from her father, Trigon. During the episode Nevermore, we saw some of this conflict when Cyborg and Beast Boy met emoticlones of Raven. They depict versions of her with various emotions, showing her internal struggle. Make up your mind! Who are you? I'm Raven! <gasps> Uh. Happy, timid, brave. You forgot Dopey. <laughs> Her constant battle with anxiety and insecurity touched a nerve with many fans. We got you. It's okay. Thank you, friends. Andy Mack. While Andy Mack wasn't on the air for a long time, in its short reign, it became very popular with its demographic and that might have something to do with its more realistic portrayal of the struggles that modern kids go through. You know, this is the first time I ever talked about this. I'm glad we had this conversation. Me too. After all, there's the story of Cyrus Goodman coming out as gay that immediately grabbed headlines. And I'm gay. There's also the story arc for Jonah Beck, after going through uncertainties in his relationship with Andy, including a potential new love interest, Jonah's anxiety spirals out of control as he started to have panic attacks in public. With the support of his friends, Jonah began to get a handle on the attacks as he opens up about his experiences rather than bury his feelings away. They come and go. That's what you have to remember. They go. When you're having one, you just have to keep telling yourself this will end. I wish you could always be there for them. The Legend of Korra Throughout the series, but especially in the latter half, post-traumatic stress disorder is a key hindrance to Korra. I told you I would destroy you. From losing most of her bending abilities in the episode Endgame, she is later captured in Venom of the Red Lotus. There, she is attacked and poisoned with mercury, leaving her vastly weakened. So much so that Korra needs to use a wheelchair for a time. After this, she's a shell of her former self. I want you to know that I'm here for you. If you ever want to talk, or anything. But let's just try to enjoy this today. For Janora. You're right. Okay, let's go. Korra soon isolates herself from her tribe as she's engulfed by PTSD and the anxiety of potentially being in pain again. Your father and I have tried to give you as much space as you've needed, but we're worried. You're not sleeping, you're barely eating. We don't want to push you, but it's been three weeks. With the aid of Toph Beifong, Korra slowly begins to heal and can remove the trace of the poison left in her system and find herself once again. 
Sesame Street. Kids can struggle with expressing and putting words to their feelings. That's where Sesame Street comes in. Oh, look! It's the word of the day! Hey, yeah! And the word is... Anxious. Thanks to their connection with mental health professionals, the show is able to vocalise complex emotions that youngsters can connect to. The producers have held several spotlights and seminars over the years about important topics that affect the population. But you know what? I'm always here and I will always listen. In 2017, with the rise of mass violence, Sesame Workshop, the non-profit organisation behind the series, focused on helping children cope with stress and trauma in tense times with its release of Sesame Street branded audiovisual material. Another time, Sesame Street discussed anxiety and talking about those feelings. No. What's in the box? I'm very worried about it, yeah. and I'm nervous about what's going to pop out of it. Me too! In 2023, the Arabic version of Sesame Street made strides to help local kids with various aspects of mental health through workshops. Each season of Sesame has educational goal, and the seventh season focuses on self-identity, where the children could, could understand exactly what what they have inside them as a talent and as, as a way of thinking so they can respect it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Steven Universe the series created by Rebecca Sugar has touched on several aspects of mental health, and anxiety is one that especially left a lasting impression. In Kiki's Pizza Delivery Service, Kiki struggled with saying no to her sister due to a fear of failing, and instead worked herself into the ground. Your feelings matter, just tell her no! Then in Mindful Education, the processes of mindfulness and cognitive behaviour therapy are explored as Garnet teaches Stephen and Connie healthier ways to deal with their emotions. Take a moment to think of just flexibility, love and trust. Similar themes were explored in the epilogue series, Steven Universe Future. Steven begins glowing pink as he struggles to process the PTSD he'd sustained over the adventures. <laughs> By growing pains, he goes to the hospital, and his mental trauma is recognised as he begins to heal. I should be feeling so good these days. The Earth is safe, it's era 3. But I'm, I'm swelling up over these third era problems. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.